Hello class. In this video series, we'll cover the pbasic commands. These commands are the main commands that were used in your test programs. Some of these commands were used to check to see if a push button was working properly. Some of these commands were used to check to see if an LED was working properly. Some commands were used to check some of your sensors, like your motion sensor. And other commands were used to check your temperature sensor. Some commands were used to turn on a buzzer, like frequency out. Of course, some of your programs used a do loop which allows the program to repeat itself. Some of your commands use a serial in and the serial out command to communicate with the RFID reader and the GSM modem. And most all your programs use the debug command to display information on the screen. But how do you actually put all of this together into a program that you will use to control your project? Well, each project is different and you have to decide and make a plan as to how you're going to build your final control program. However, I do have a suggestion. I suggest that you start with basic programming, basic training programming number three, program number three, which gives you the foundation for writing a process control loop and then you will add what extra information you need during the steps to finalize your program. I will start with the digital inputs and outputs first because those are easier to process. And then later I will proceed with your analogs and then finally your communication devices such as your RFID reader and your GSM modem. There's no way to help you at this point. The only advice I can give you is to get started. You have to get started. You must break through the fear and get started with writing some code. You can start with the flowchart that you've used in the past, but this flowchart was a general flowchart. Now you must write a flowchart that's specific to the operation of the basic stamp controller. Remember, the basic stamp controller can only do one or two things. It can input information from some pin, determine whether that value is zero or one, or it can use any one of these type of inputs to read analog information or communication information. Also, the, the basic stamp can send information out to a pin. It can control the status of a pin by turning it off or turning it on or sending out a frequency or a pulse. Or it can display information on the screen, write to memory, or it can communicate with devices such as the RFID reader and the GSM modem. You've had experience with all of these commands in your project. Now it is time for you to write these commands step by step along with program, com program control commands to solve your problem. And this is where you must sit down and concentrate on what steps do your microcontroller need to take in order to operate your system. So my next video, I will start with some of the fundamental commands and then progress on up to the major commands and try to give examples of each one. But no amount of videos is going to help you until you get started writing a solution to your own problem. 
and that's going to require lots of hours but you will get the hang of it and you will enjoy it once you understand the fundamentals thank you